welcome to my channel this is Nina from the Forgotten Bookshop Girl and uh, you see me right in the middle of my messy desk but um, I was just uh, making um, well as you can see I'm I was in the middle of making some notebooks and I created this little um, kind of pocket I should have come up with a better name for it a, a pocket page page with pockets that you can add uh, to your journal and I'm going to do that right in the front so when you open it up you've got these pockets here um, where you can just stick things inside and even a little side pockets here and um, I'm making this a notebook out of kind of like lots of off cuts and any uh, papers that didn't turn out um, kind of like well enough for me to sell them in my shop and I just keep all of those and um, I sometimes uh, you know sell grab bags as well but um, I'm always keeping some so that I can use in my own journals and so this was uh, obviously sheet music and I've uh, got tons of sheet music because I was given some sheet music um, ages ago and it's it's really, really loads. So I'm trying to think of ways of how to use it. And I'm also selling some coffee stained sheet music in my Etsy shop. And then I was also experimenting with uh, pattern rollers or patterns on not only on coffee dyed papers, but also on sheet music and this one was a I think it's a sample or a something uh, and I wanted to have it in the journal and before I kind of like cut off the part at the bottom I kind of just started playing around with it now thought, why don't I you know create some pockets out of it and then I thought I could maybe just share how I did it with you because it's just so easy and so simple um, and it works so well. I'm sure I'm not, you know, I didn't come up with this idea. It, it does exist, um, but I thought I'll just um, share it uh, anyway. So, okay, I'll just put this one to one side and I have to keep an eye on, uh, on the light. It's uh, a very rainy day and the camera is always trying to compensate for low light and then sometimes it just gets too bright or too dark so I have to uh, remember to keep checking. Um, so I've also made a smaller one and as you can see um, I've made little um, I don't know <laughs> like these little you know I've been using uh, the circle punch to just uh, you know punch out these kind of like half circles because I always find if you put something in there it's kind of like easier to pull them out and I also thought it looks quite cute so this is obviously for a smaller notebook and I can actually just quickly show you um, they're these um, sized I'm um, okay just to give you a little bit of context I've just uh, published a class on Skillshare all about uh, making a set of what I call field companions uh, like a set of uh, notebooks and I'm kind of using these notebooks in my new class which is all about uh, you know it's a journaling class art journaling class uh, but it is um, kind of its main focus is on spring and how to kind of like a journaling in spring or journaling with the seasons and so apart from the art journal so I'll just put this one to one side apart from the art journal I'm um, also making and this is this is the one kind of like a spring journal where this is I'm where I'm going to work with the journaling prompts and then I'm having I've got a separate art journal hang on I can actually show you um, it's I haven't quite finished it so here we go It's a basically a mixed media journal which I'm going to use in this class to work with uh, some kind of like 
art journaling um, based on the journal prompt. So if I've done that. And then this is going to go with this journal and I'm also going to create a, a pocket or a something where um, this can probably go somewhere into this journal so that it can all be in one place. So that's the background to this one. And uh, so the one I'm making at the moment, this was just an experiment and um, I was playing around with the name and ways to spell the name kind of a mix of uh, English and, and French, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So don't don't think I'm I don't know how to how to spell it. Was just an idea of uh, playing around with the words, but then I realised people will probably just assume that I can't spell. But so anyway, so this was in a way just a sample, but I thought why not use it? So I'm making a little notebook for my mum, and I wanted to add one of those uh, pocket pages sheet music pocket pages and then I thought why don't I just share the process with you and now enough talking let's just get started okay so the first thing I obviously did was uh, just fold it in half like this I can actually take these out for now. Uh, so I don't have to cut anything off along here because it's you know it's the right size and no, nothing will stick out but obviously this is too long and that's where I had the idea why don't I do something with the access piece of paper so I then let's just make pencil mark along here and then I'm going to fold it along that line could actually make it I was checking a little bit yeah just a little bit shorter so it doesn't Stick out at the bottom. There, is that better? Yeah. Okay. And now I'm going to cut along this line. So it's kind of the middle line. I'll just make sure that I actually can see the line. So just from here up to kind of <laughs> where the crossroads are. So let's have a look. I'm actually going to line this up with the lines on my cutting mat because I find that makes things easier. Okay, I might even make a little, where's my pencil? Gone. It's gone. Okay, there's another one. Just so that I know how far I need to go. So that's about here. Obviously you could use uh, scissors to do that. Okay, did I get that? Yeah. And next I'm going to align this edge with the, you know, with the fold over here. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to fold it all down. And I can just check if I go, uh, yeah, that worked perfectly. Sometimes you need to, um, Kind of adjusted a little bit but this worked so i'm going to do the same whoops on this side so i'm just going to align the edge with the fold like that and then again i'm going to check 
Yeah, that looks okay. So there we go. We've got this. Let me just double check. Yep, that's all sitting okay. Uh, first, I had the idea of uh, kind of like gluing this shut. Um, but then at the same time, I thought oh, it might be quite fun to have another pocket just here. So I just left it. But you know, at this point in time, you know, you could do, you can do either. You can either glue this shut or you can just uh, leave it and use it as an extra pocket. Now I can, I can actually see that I've got a little bit more of an overlap here than here. So, you know, I probably should have double checked that even though I, even though I did, have the fold in the middle. I don't know, these things happen. Um, because what I'm going to do with this little bit that is um, kind of like hanging over, let's start on this side. So I'm turning it all around and then I, um, I could probably also have just straightened this line. I might just quickly do that. Yeah, because it will be easier to do all the folding. I think, yeah, let's just do that quickly. So, right, where are we? Okay, so I'm going to fold both of them over. And then we've got them looking like that. And then I'm going to fold the flaps over like like that. What you can do is kind of like just cut a little, um, kind of like cut a little bit off. It sometimes just looks neater, just like that. And I've got some scrap paper. And I'm going to use this little bit that is hanging, it's kind of like this overhang to attach the triangle at the back. So there we go. We still got our little um, extra little um, pocket. Okay, and I'm going to do this on the other side. As I said, this one is a little bit shorter but I could always use some extra washi to um, kind of strengthen it. Okay. Whoops. Trying not to get uh, glue on my cutting mat. Okay, there. And I'm uh, almost done really. So I've got my little pocket here, there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my circle punch and I'm just going to eyeball this. So I'm trying to go right into the middle of uh, this pocket. Um, yeah, I might. Go. And I just want kind of like half a circle. Like this, and I'm, I'm going to repeat it on the other side. And again, I'm just going to eyeball it on this side as well. Try and have it roughly in the middle. Yeah. There you go, it's all done. Um, there we go. I've got my little, I know I can see that this is kind of like slightly higher up than this one, but you know, in the end, once it's in the notebook, you won't be able to tell because you've got one in the front and one in the back. You could do it obviously the other way around, kind of like then fold it this way. So if you were opening your, uh, your notebook and actually I might do it with this one because I haven't got any pockets here. So you could just start off with a pocket, quite like that on this one, 
And then you've got, you know, you've got a space where you can just add pictures or, you know, whatever you would like. And another little pocket here. And I would probably be tempted to have a little, um, a little paper clip to just hold it shut. Let's just, oh, hang on. Let's use one of these. I have a little rabbit, so um, I might just do it kind of like that. Um, you know, if I were worried, you know, if I was worried that things might just slip out, or maybe even, even there. No, just, oh yeah, there we go. Kind of like that, all up there. And that looks, I find, kind of quite nice as well. Okay. So, um, I think this is long enough because I did start to ramble in the beginning, but I just wanted to give you some um, uh, kind of like some context to what I'm doing here. So, all I need to do now is bind it and then I can send it off to my mum. So, that would be really nice. Okay, I hope you're all doing well and uh, you know, just keep keep busy creating and being creative and I feel that really really helps to just escape from everything and just um, do something really nice and um, I haven't made any notebooks for so long and I just I just really noticed how much I enjoyed just you know playing around with all of these papers and kind of the tactile sensation of all of it so I just got a lot of joy out of this so I'll just encourage you you know keep creating it's it's very good for you okay have a lovely day and I hope to see you very soon bye